actually decided I wanted to be a researcher when I was uh, in elementary school and I got my first uh, microscope. Well, growing up, I uh, um, soon realized that science can be used to uh, unravel the code of nature for trying to solve its most difficult portion, life itself. The satisfaction of solving complex problems is like a drug. Yeah, so you get a thrill out of it, so you get addicted to it. So innovation is my drive, and I probably will be a researcher for the rest of my life. One of the, of the biggest rewards of my job is to be able to identify a genetic mutation in a gene that was not known before, and be able to actually uh, report it um, back to the family. Um, my best memory as a researcher is uh, for sure August 28, 2017. Uh, that was uh, uh, the day I saw the first X-ray signal from a gravitational wave source. And I was the very first person to know about it. And it was uh, very cool. Uh, when I got here, I didn't speak the language. And in two years' time, uh, the U.S. government gave me the keys to operate uh, a nuclear reactor. So that was the first time I was like, wow, this is amazing. Italian researchers are still appreciated uh, here in the U.S., um, mainly due to their good uh, fundamental uh, preparation and also due to their uh, renowned uh, inventive uh, capabilities. We, as Italians, we bring something which is extremely valuable to the uh, research, international research community and this value should be celebrated. It's kind of funny, we have this convivial lifestyle, for example, lunch together, so we are appreciated not only for our work, but also for um, the joy that we bring in the lab. The this, this system in the university really gave us a lot because it gave us a very, very strong scientific preparation and a very strong tradition of science um, and research. Even if we don't realize it, we have a lot of history behind us. And history means a lot of like uh, physicist, great physicist means a lot of like mathematicians for sure, but also a lot of artists. Lot of Italy has a long tradition in uh, innovation, uh, starting from uh, Galileo with uh, Leonardo to more recent time with uh, uh, Rita Levi Montalcini. I don't really think that uh, art and culture is separated by science. Research is a global endeavor. You cannot really set boundaries between countries. The cooperation between Italy and the United States uh, uh, was very important. It changed my life. It's a, a combination of uh, uh, skills, uh, research technologies, and um, also um, ability to integrate in the system. I'm a member of the science team of an instrument on board the ExoMars Space Mission with a large contribution from the Italian Space Agency. And a part of the instrument I'm working on is developed at NASA Gorda Space Flight Center here in the US. I have a standing really strong collaborations with, with Italy um, and some of the genetic disorders that I studied. Um, you need to work hard and fight even harder, but if you can do that, it pays you back. And my advice is always to be positive in Italy and abroad. Follow the Red Queen principle, there is a biology uh, principle, uh, to stay in the same place and run twice faster if they want to go somewhere else.